Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video I'll be covering a new tool called as Photon. So first of all, all the credit goes to the developers. So this is a wonderful tool and this is a crawling tool. So what it does to keep it simple is like whenever you provide a URL, it tries to fetch some data uh, like URLs, external URLs, internal URLs, files, if there are any files within that source code, if there are any secret keys within that source code, JavaScript files and stuff like that. I mean, you can do this manually as well, but Imagine if you're having like a bulk load of and a lot of websites or like a lot of URLs uh, which you dumped from the Wayback URLs and you want to see all the sensitive information, then this is going to be a wonderful way. And uh, let's start. So this is a very simple tool. I'll leave the link for the for this tool in the description below. Go there and check that out. Uh, you need to have Python 3. That's it. That's all you need to have. And uh, let me go back. So I'm using Windows subsystem for Linux here. Your, uh, your field. You can use anything of your choice so git clone just paste it so i already have this tool working for me so i've been using this tool for a while so that's the reason it's already present so now once you are in this directory you will find these particular files here so if you are into the docker and docker and stuff uh, they have the docker version as well so you can go and check that out so it's fine and the first thing first is like you need to install all the requirements so make sure you're having pip3 so pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt so I, as i told you earlier i have i already have this tool running for me for some time so i have everything up but if this is your first time running up then it does require some time to install all the requirements make sure you are using pip3 it's not pip2 this is tool is based on python 3 and then just give executable rights for this uh, photon so just give the executable rights i already have the executable rights that's fine so just run photon.py and let's see if it's actually installed properly or not so if you get any kind of error so make sure to go back and see so you need to install all the requirements you need to give the executable rights for this python script and if you are like uh, if you want to add this to your uh, path you can do that and you can access this thing from anywhere so coming to this as i told you earlier so this is like a crawling tool which crawls all the uh, stuff so the basic thing you need to provide is a url so it, it can be of any url and i'm planning to show this on a test application called as zero bank so this is like a uh, kind of like a juice shop uh, you can go and test that out you can you have uh, make sure you're having rights or make sure that the website is having some proper bounty program and try that out so that in order to not get into those illegal issues and all so you have this cookie so sometimes you might find information when you like some urls might require you logged in info uh, you need to be logged in to view some information in those cases you can provide your cookie you can have a regex uh, you can export this to any format and these are all the stuff so levels to crawl so you can go till like five or six i guess i'm not sure i maximum go like five that's the max and you have like you can provide threats delay and also these are some basic uh verbose and all basic stuff and coming to the important thing you have like the clone you can clone that website locally as well i mean don't do that for like some big websites it's going to take a lot of time you can add a header uh, you can enumerate dns so this is an important thing you can find secret keys uh, this is going to be an important thing because sometimes source codes may contain some api keys or some kind of sensitive information and uh, way back urls you can fetch some urls from the archive.org of that particular url and this acts some kind uh, this acts similar to the way back urls tool which i've covered in the past so enough talking let's get this done so copy the url so dot slash photon dot by hyphen u you can just provide it by default and it gives you some information but uh, uh, you can add more options like you can add a level you can add some option like keys and all and this is going to be cool so let's see how it goes so yep uh, and you can see it try to identify some information this is a small test application so if you are working on some big real-time applications then the numbers will be very huge so keep that in mind and it try to identify three javascript files and it even try to analyze it so it might have some kind of like a regex kind of thing to identify some api keys and all so that's how it goes and all the results are going to be saved in a directory so if i do an ls here you can see there is a directory here so cd into this zero web security 
and you have this file so let's go and see uh, cat scripts and all you have few javascript files so if you are into this web application security you would, you would know how crucial the javascript files are sometimes they even leak the logic of that uh, some kind of an application and stuff like that so you can go through these and you can identify some kind of a logic vulnerability or some business vulnerability and i mean that's not for this video but uh, i'm just trying to show you what it has like these are some internal links that uh, within that source code itself and you have this intel so this particular intel is like some kind of like uh, maybe some kind of external links and all so that's how it works or maybe something that's linked out and also this is like external links so this is cool and uh, that is it for this video if you do have suggestions for the next videos or like if you want me to cover any tools of your choice do let me know in the comment section thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next one bye take care